charge and the school systems, you know, would be out of funds the way uh, East Baton Rouge, for instance, is for education uh, by providing oftentimes needless and heretofore almost unquestionable giveaways to, to industry. Now, my question though is, with regard to the St. George proponents, are they in favor of curtailing that program or when they come into existence, will they try to do what many of us have been doing, to try to get their school out of that program altogether so that y'all can have that money to operate your schools rather than needlessly incentivize industries to come here that have no answer to build. Okay, uh, as far as the ITEP program, which is what you're referring to, uh, St. George has no position on the ITEP program. It's not something we've been faced with because we're not in that area. Uh, even if we were, Baton Rouge annexed all the major uh, revenue locations in the St. George area for tax dollar purposes. So that's more of an issue for uh, Baton Rouge city government not really for St. George, but what I will tell you is how attractive it is for business when they can live near a city center, they can have a high quality education, low crime, and good roads. Isn't that going to make it better to attract business? Would you have to offer a little less maybe if you had a better place for to go? When we did Albemarle and Raisin Canes and Smoothie King back to Louisiana where they belong and not have them wander off to another state, it'd be nice to do that. And I think St. George is the first step East Baton Rouge Parish, getting back to uh, getting back to good business. 